Beautiful. CK, so good to see you, man. Thanks for hopping on. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. This is such a, an amazing time for you. It's probably like a whirlwind, your head spinning. Uh, just break down how the last uh, year has, has been for you. I mean, I know the song is like, what, two years old, but I feel like this past year with Love Non TD, is, I feel like it's just been a whirlwind. It has. I, you know, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've had a holiday, you know, or anything close to a holiday because, like, it's been nonstop since last year till now. And um, it's been a very interesting journey. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see where it goes next. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about a global smash hit song. I mean, billions of streams across the globe. You are connecting with so many different races and demographics, bringing uh, just people together, which is just so cool to even think about. Uh, did you ever think that was possible? I mean, like I said, you put the song out two years ago, you saw success, but then kind of TikTok took over this song, right? Gave it new life. <sighs> did you ever envision this? And, and, and what does it feel like connecting with all these different people? I mean, um, I actually envisioned it, you know. Um, when I made the record, I always knew it was a special song. I liked it. It was my favorite song before I even put it out, you know. I would play it every time. And I always knew that it would transcend languages because of the way the song just is and because of the emotions I put into the song. You know, like I just knew. But now I didn't I didn't know it was going to happen uh, two years after I released it, and I didn't know it was going to happen to um, an illegal remix from a DJ in Mauritius that would go viral on TikTok. I didn't know it was gonna follow that route. But um, I actually always saw that happening. And it's really exciting to see it happen. <clears throat> yeah, TikTok has been doing that a lot lately. Uh, with, of course, with your song, uh, just recently Frank Ocean lost, like they're digging up these songs and like they're making them hits again. It's, it's kind of crazy to see. Um, and I feel like when people first hear Love Mwantiti, like they connect with the vibe, right? Like it's just a vibe and it puts you in a good mental place. But break down like the meaning of the song. I know it has a very personal meaning to you. Yeah, I mean, well, Love Wanted is a song that um, Love Wanted in Igbo, the original language means a little bit of love, yeah. Um, but the song is basically, I was just talking about my girlfriend, you know, I was dating, I was in a relationship at the time I made the song, and I was just vibing. I was just saying how I felt on the song. And it, was, it, it was a very personal, you know, um, very personal vibe that I put into it, you know? And it's actually so crazy for me to see the whole world vibing to it because it's like, it's looking like writing a diary, right? Mm. And the whole world is reading the diary, you know what I mean? That's kind of how I feel when I see everyone vibing to Love One City because wow. I came real place and a real person you know but um yeah i mean it's exciting to see and um it's exciting to see the sound itself take over not just with love one Tinti, but with emiliana as well the new single you know emo afro beats is basically is slowly becoming the new pop you know like people mm. are tuned into listening to afro beats with emotions now because I feel like the whole world, people are emotional, people are sad, people feel all kinds of stuff. And, you know, when all that energy is in music, it just connects, you know? So I'm basically an emotional guy expressing myself in my songs and people connect with it. That's, that's incredible to hear you say that. Uh, did you feel a certain way when this song exploded and billions of streams uh, were happening because like you said, it is a diary and you are putting your heart out there and being so transparent. It was it a little weird at first being like, oh my God, you guys are like listening to my inner thoughts and feelings? Or did you feel like, hey, I think maybe I'm helping some people out there too? Well, I mean, <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit of both, you know, because uh, at first, you know, it's just, it's just a, it's a feeling that only an artist can understand, you know, like to have your, inner thoughts out there and mm. everyone just 
connects with it, you know, on a deep level. And um, it also, there's also the side of knowing that, okay, this song is probably helping some people through the hardest times, you know, like there are certain songs that help me through my hardest times. So I know mm. what it feels like to have a song for that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. People can enjoy it and I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> now, does your ex, uh, have you heard from her after the single's been out? You know, have you heard from her? Have you connected? Nah. I mean, I mean we, we connected after it was out. But like, um, we kind of lost touch. Yeah. A few months after, you know, um, we were yeah. friends after the relationship, but we we had a fight, so we weren't friends anymore. And that was it. I always wondered about that, like you know, when you're dating a songwriter and you break up, do you ever like you guys reconnect? Like, I wondered like about Adele, like when she's writing all these ballads about her heartbreak, does it ever like cross paths again? Does it come up? Like, hey. It's listen, yeah, like it's literally like with you or with anyone else. If you broke up with someone, would you reconnect with them? Mm. Even if I write a song about that, would you? <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. I, like I just happen to have written a song about it, but it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> that my feelings have changed or anything. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah captured emotions at a certain place and time mm. and i think that's what makes it so special because it's like a it's like a time capsule of how i felt at a specific place and time yeah. that's interesting and when you perform the song i always wonder this when you when you have signed that personal and when you perform it does those mo does it emotions ever like bubble back up you know what i mean yeah it does Every yeah I was curious about that because it's so personal and like it, that is a certain time of your life. You probably don't feel those things anymore, but like I was just curious because like you're in the moment performing. I just wondered if that ever came up and, you know, uh, you're, you're working on your, your debut album. Uh, can we expect a similar vibe? Uh, when is this coming out? Because I feel like we're getting a taste of CK and now we want the whole thing. We want more. Yeah. I mean, the album is definitely heavy on emo afro beats i mean like you're gonna hear lots of varieties of it and um, different energies you know basically i'm going to make you feel all the stuff i've been feeling over the past couple of years you know? and i feel quite a lot of things <laughs> so um yeah i feel a lot of things I feel, I feel like i feel things more than the average person which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time because Everything is so intense, both the good and the bad. So basically, you're going to feel all that too on the album. And um, yeah, like I said before, I like, to, I like to try things and I like to make music out of the box. And uh, I always like to experiment with the sound. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Is there a, a target release date or are you just kind of like fluid? It's all organic. It's actually all organic. The way I make music, I don't like to, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of deadlines and timelines mm. and stuff because for me, music is art. It's not just a product, you know, it's not just something you just use celebrity, but, you know, it's art. So it's, it, it's done when it's done and it comes out when it comes out, but it's definitely coming out this year. Well, I can't really tell you the exact day. When it's time, it's time. When it's ready, it's ready, right? Exactly. That's perfect. Well, we're excited to hear the whole project. Uh, we just can't get enough of Love Nuan TD. Uh, we, we play it all the time here on TDY here in Philadelphia. And just thank you so much for the time. We're just so excited for, uh, for your career. I, I saw your uh, song on like what, the Kettle One commercial, making that uh, vodka money. You're just everywhere, man. You're just crushing it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Thanks for hopping on here and all the best. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thanks so much, guys.